Hey guys, guess what? Back for another unboxing. You'll never guess where I'm from. Paris, France, of all places. So, let's get right into it. So, check it out. Le Forban, Malloween. Dear Nick, uh, many thanks. Hope you will enjoy your Malloween. Stay safe. L F S M team. That's nice. That's really cool. And a picture of the black dial. So, there it is. Very nice uh, packaging. I was actually a little bit afraid that that padded envelope was going to be uh, enough for uh, shipping across country all the way from Paris to uh, Massachusetts, but look at that. Very nicely done. So like I said in my last video, this is not a review, it's just an unboxing. I haven't um, had any time with the watch, so how can you make a review when you haven't been wearing it and you don't know much about it? So, but I do know the facts about it. And I just wanted to share the unboxing with you guys. Very nice polished stainless steel. Look at that very 20,000 leagues under the sea-esque um, scuba helmet. Very nicely done. Um, The dial is so, so gorgeous. Someone um, someone on one of the watch forums had said, once they get rid of the date window, I'll jump on it. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with the date window. It doesn't break it up too bad, the dial. It looks good to me. It's, very, it's really pretty, this watch. So 120 click, bezel. Um, yeah, it does have a screw down crown. Let's see if we can wake it up. Yeah, see, I could even do that. I have a seven and a half inch wrist and pretty big, um, pretty big hands. And I'm still able to, uh, screw that crown, hand wind the crown and there it goes has the Miyota 8215, non-hacking, 40-hour power reserve, 21-joule movement. Um, very, it's inspired, they said it's inspired by the 1972 model. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Le Forban used to make uh, watches for the French Navy and maritime pilots in the 60s and 70s. And uh, let's see, what else do I know? I know it's 316 stainless steel, has a very mid-century design. Those, uh, that font on the dial is very 1960s-ish. Actually, that looks like the same font as my older Timex Marlin. See that? That font is very, very similar. And this is a 1968 Marlin. Um... Superluminova C3 for the loom. Coin edge bezel is reminiscent of the 1969 version of their, their dive watch. Um, extremely domed sapphire crystal. God, I love the uh, the retro look on this. Very, very nicely done. Um, you know what I'm going to do for you guys? I'm going to get it on the wrist and show you in the sunlight what it will look like because this natural light, um, this natural light is not doing it enough justice. So watch this. So here's a wrist shot for you guys. Just as the sun is going down, of course. Really nicely done. 
See if we can get the sun right in the dial. I love it. I already love it. Just like, just like I said in the past. I don't think I've unboxed a, a watch that I haven't loved so far. So anyways, let's go on to the dimensions. So on to the dimensions, guys. So like I, um, like I said in the previous video, I'm not paid by any of these um, manufacturers to, to do any of these uh, unboxings. I didn't get a discount. I'm just, uh, you know, private party and uh, love really rare watches that um, are hard to come by. This one was, um, I waited a while for it. It was sold out on their uh, their site, and then it finally uh, shipped in the middle of all of the world's uh, issues with the coronavirus. Um, so let me go ahead and give you guys the dimensions. So looks like we have 39 millimeter right around the bezel, and then I think. The case at his smallest was 38-ish. I think that's what they say. 38.8. Okay. And then thickness. I don't remember what the thickness was. Right around 13 millimeter thickness. I know it's a 20 millimeter um, strap. There we go. 20 perfect which means it'll go on a lot of gorgeous NATO straps, which I can't wait to try. And then the lug to lug, let's see where it is. I'm sure it's in the 40s somewhere, 45, perfectly, awesome. So guys, I hope you like the Malloween as much as I do. Um, Hopefully it becomes more readily available soon. Um, they are still open uh, during this crisis of ours that the whole world is dealing with. Um, by the way, the strap is very soft. It's really, it's it was very comfortable on the wrist. Really soft, some kind of silicone, definitely silicone. Um, and I know the tongue fits into the design, obviously in the middle. So there's, it's very, very adjustable. See all those holes in the middle for the uh, the tongue of the buckle? And the buckle, oh, sorry about that. Buckle, of course, has their, their, uh, their name on, on it. Laser engraved, polished, very nicely done. There's that gorgeous case back again. That's even nicer than my Seamaster. God, I love how the finish is bead blast. I'm sure you can see that. Bead blasted finish, assembled in Paris. Really nicely done. I hope you guys love it. I, lo I also love the color that the, uh, the French flag on the dial. I love that little bit of color. 150 meter water resistant and I'm sure you can see how gorgeous that uh, that dial is that blue this is the blue on blue version and it also comes in black on black so that's it that's the Le Forban Malouine I hope you guys like it you should pick one up as soon as you can I don't know what kind of production they're going to do on this model, but it is really pretty, really pretty. Guys, thanks for watching my videos as usual. If you like the watch, uh, give it a thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Stay safe. Bye-bye.